Hello everybody, it is Tuesday, June 30th. This is a combined children and adults, yellow, orange, green belt class. Hey guys, I gotta tell you, we finally got on the mat last night with the other students and it was a blast. It was great to get out here and do some teaching in person for a change. As I mentioned, we are doing our online classes as well as our in-person classes. Um, when we can, we'll try to have the class during the morning or the online class reflect the evening class. Um, it's not always gonna work out that way. A couple quick reminders, when you're coming to class, Make sure you have your waivers. Do not come without your waivers. It's very, very important. Um, make sure that you have a mask. Do not wear an N95 mask. This, I found out last night students were having trouble breathing an N95 mask. Do not wear an N95. It's either a typical hospital surgical mask or a, um, a cloth reusable washable mask, okay? Uh, bring your boxing gloves or your sparring gloves, whichever ones you have, all right? And then bring a bottle of water. Make sure your name is on anything you're bringing. Do not just bring a plain, like Aquafina bottle, because it gets confused with everybody else's Aquafina bottles, and that does not bode well. Aquafina bottle. Like a typical, like a Nestle, like your typical water bottles. Oh, I've okay. never heard of Aquafina. It's a brand. It's That's grape it. water. Okay, so you don't want to use just a regular store bought. Like, here, hold that up in the camera, Lucas. You don't want to use one of these because that gets confused with everybody else. Okay, you can get it out of the way now. Okay, that gets confused with everybody else and that doesn't bode well for social distancing when we're sharing water bottles. All right guys, so make sure your name is on everything. As always, do your warm-ups before we get started. Okay, welcome back, here we go. Defensive stance, set? Huh? Yeah! So we're doing fighting combination number two today. Front leg, side kick, back punch, ki -ai. That's yellow belts, remember to exaggerate your chambers. Front leg, side kick, back punch, ki -ai. One more time. Front leg side kick, back punch, ki -ai, okay? Orange belts, orange number two. Let's back up a little bit, son by Bailey. Front leg front kick, back leg front kick, back leg round kick, back punch, ki -ai. What's that? I'm tight. You're tight, you went on a run yesterday. Set by Bailey, ran yesterday. He ran for a mile and a quarter yesterday. Impressive, dude. Yeah, I You need know, to be running right? a lot more than that. Let's go, keep going, come on. Ready, orange number two again, front leg front kick, back leg front kick, back leg round kick, back okay. punch ki -ai. one more time, front leg front kick, back leg front kick, back leg round kick, back punch ki, -ai. ki -ai. <coughs> Excuse me, green number two, front leg hook kick, one two punch, ki -ai. again, front leg hook kick, ki -ai. one two punch ki -ai. All right. 30 counts on your fighting combinations, both your right and your left. Pause the video, come back when you guys are ready. All right, welcome back. Now, we're gonna continue with our curriculum kicks this week. Yellow belts, round kicks can be done on an x-ray type paper or on a hard target, okay? Now, I did notice some of our new yellow belts, the way we're kicking in here, we're using the big wave masters. Some of our younger yellow belts really struggle with pointing their toes in a round kick chest. We need to make sure, we need to make sure our toes are pointing our round kick. Everybody looks at my instep here. Not like this, like this. Toes are pointed. We're gonna hit the target. Can I have your leg please up available? Uh-oh. Okay, with a combination of the shin and instep right here. Okay, the instep and shin, that's gonna make contact with the target. We do not. When I kick a target like this, you're gonna break your foot, okay? So whether you're using an x-ray paper or a kicking shield, make sure those toes are pointed. So facing you, turn the back foot just like we do in a side kick, point underneath at the target, and kick, that's it. So if you're doing it in the air, just like this, turn that back foot, point the knee, smack the target, bring it back, nice and easy. If you're doing it on a, hard, a soft target, <coughs> Defensive stance. Switch feet. Switch feet. There you go. Okay, turn that back foot, point your knee. Yeah. Again, turn that back foot, point your knee. Yeah. One more time. Whoa. Yeah. Good. If you're doing it on a kicking shield, it looks a little bit more like this. Okay? <coughs> Face this way. So make sure you're in line with the target, you're close enough, and you're going to smack it. Go ahead. Yeah. Good. Make sure those toes are pointed or you're going to hurt your foot. Go. Yeah. Go. Yeah. Good. All 
orange belt or spin side kicks. So I had right there. I had about three, four brand new orange belts last night. Really confused which direction to turn in their arm in their spin side kicks. So we're gonna do it facing you, then we're gonna do it on the target. So when I'm here, the first thing we do is pivot. Now, when we pivot, we don't step. That was confusing a lot of you guys. We don't step. We pivot to see the target. We throw a side kick straight out. We land forward. Now when we reset, it's important that we look at our opponent. Everybody wanted to reset this way. That means I just turn my, my back to my opponent. So I turn and look, side kick straight out. Land, look, and reset with my eyes on them because I don't trust you. Okay, turn and look, side kick, land, reset. Why are you doing a back lunge? <coughs> We're not doing a combination. Ready? One more time. Turn and kick. Key yeah. up. Land and reset. If we have a target to work on, even better. Even better. Ready? Turn and look. Straight out. Key up. Land. Reset with your eyes on the target. Come a little closer. <coughs> Ready? Turn and look. Hit. Key up. Land and reset. A little closer. Turn and look. Hit. Key up. Land and reset. And there you have it, guys. Your spin side kicks. Green belts. Your hook kicks. Your hook kick starts exactly like a side kick, just slightly off target. So, if I'm kicking at you with a side kick, straight out. If I'm kicking at you with a hook kick, it's gonna come outside a little bit out here and then snap back to my butt. Notice how I snap the hip back. Snap the hip back. Snap the hip back. Okay, so, that's your hook kicks if you're in the air. If not, we're on a target, great. <clears throat> Ready? Go a little closer, somebody. Turn that back, turn that back foot. Go ahead. Straight out like a side yeah. kick. Remember what we worked on last time with the hips. Yeah. Yep. Throw the kick straight out. Yeah. Good. Bring the hip all the way back. Yeah. There you go. 30 kicks on both your right and left. Pause the video, come back when you guys are done. Alright, welcome back. So guys. Our, our keyword for the day, non-quitting spirit. You guys have heard me talk about it over and over again. Go, go over there and stretch for a second, somebody, so you're not distracting me. <clears throat> our non-quitting spirit. We talk about that all the time. It's our ability to overcome obstacles, not give up on something when it becomes challenging, becomes hard, becomes difficult, or it's not new and exciting anymore. Okay, so... As we talked about during the, the whole quarantine, before we were able to open the doors again, it was tough, it was challenging. People sort of lose focus. But when you apply the non-quitting spirit, you're able to stay on track, track with your training. Same thing happens with fitness, same thing happens with schoolwork, same thing happens with working in your career, same thing happens with relationships. The non-quitting spirit keeps you going and stops you from losing your momentum and your path. I try to apply the non-quitting spirit to everything I do in life. Hard work becomes challenging, I work harder. My training becomes challenging, becomes monotonous, I work harder. Okay, it's, if, if a pandemic comes, becomes challenging, I don't give up. I work hard and figure it out, okay? The non-quitting spirit, hopefully you learned a lot about that during this pandemic. And because you applied the non-quitting spirit, we're seeing everybody on the mat again, and I am so happy about it. So if you have not scheduled your classes yet for this week, make sure you do so. Don't schedule next week because I'm changing the schedule. All right, so my belly, come on back up. All right, so guys, like I said yesterday, we're keeping these a little shorter this week to kind of relate them to what we're doing in the, in the evening classes. Um, we It's not always going to be like that because we can't do touch training yet, um, in contact training yet. So. We'll give you the self-defenses here because you can't really do it in class yet, okay? We'll, we'll evolve as we go. Every, like I said, we're asking for flexibility. We are going to continue our theme of break falling today, okay? We're going to continue break falling. Break falling is such a critical part of your training. If you don't know how to break fall, you're going to get injured during training or injured when you're walking down the street and you trip over a skateboard or something like that. So we're going to do our break falling backwards again today. Now remember, when we're break falling backwards, let's say somebody shoves you, you trip, 
You, you step on a coffee as you're walking backwards and fall. Psh, psh, I spilled my coffee this morning. Okay, from here, guys, yeah, turn right here on 45, scooch up. Good. Okay, so we first part of this is we're break falling, we're, we're curving our body, we're, and we want to rock our momentum. That's falling down, we want to rock it back up. So we're not going to use our hands yet, we want to protect my head. The big mistakes that people make when they fall is they put their hands down, they break their wrists, they put their elbows down, they break their elbows, and they break their shoulders, they put their heads down, and they break their heads. It right? bounces like a watermelon. Watermelon, it's on bounce, they splat, splat. Okay, so from here, we tuck our chin, we rock our body just like this. <clears throat> Notice how our feet go up in the air, our butts come off the ground. Our heads are not touching. Now to stop our momentum, that's what we do with our hands. We bring our hands into play here, your arms are gonna smack out on the mat just like this. Everything from the tip of our finger to our smelly armpit hits at the same time. Just like that, okay? So we tuck our chins, we smack out. Now, if you feel comfortable with that, you can get into a squatted position right here. Now we're gonna do the same thing, we're gonna rock from here. Okay, we're gonna rock our body back. Okay, that's the I'm gonna hit you if you're right there. Scooch a little bit. Okay, you're gonna rock your body back, and you're gonna smack out. Don't arch, just roll. And again. All right. There you have it, guys. That's your class for today. Hey, thanks for training hard. Thanks for being Lima Strong. Keep up the good work. We'll see you online, and we'll see you on the mat. Boost.